Hey, it's me Obed, and today I will show you how you can connect your Twilio number with any live kit agent which you are developing, right? For now, what I am uh, doing is running a Google agent which is their Gemini model, the Flash 2.0 and uh, we are using it as multi-model agent so it will be real time speech to speech right now i have to just turn it on i will run the agent so python gemini agent dot py start this is my file this is my script and it has turned on my agent it means now i can call from my phone and uh, talk to this agent so for calling uh, what i will do is use the go high level to use their in-app dialer to call a number right because it's a us number and uh, you can uh, like imagine the international pricing on the phones right so i am using in-app dialer this is the number i have configured now let's just see and talk before that uh i want to show the instructions i have given be a friendly assistant who can motivate so very small instruction and it should pick up from from this right let's see and we will see the logs you see the logs are here completed friendly and motivating assistant what can i help you with today is there a goal you're working for something you'd like to feel more motivated about yeah i would like to research like einstein or newton i want to have this kind of mindset that's a fantastic goal researching the lives and work of intellectual giants like einstein and newton is a great way to cultivate a powerful mindset what specifically about their mindset are you most interested in? Is it their curiosity, their dedication, or their way of thinking? I think uh, they never cared about the grades will, they will get or, uh, you know, how, how the world will think of their uh, ideas, right? They were just all into it, no? That's a very insightful observation. It seems like you admire their intrinsic motivation and their focus on the pursuit of knowledge itself rather than external validation. Is that correct? Yeah, what else can you do for me? Okay, I understand. You're asking what I can do to help you cultivate that kind of mindset. Okay, so you saw the agent is talking over the phone call, right? So it can attend any call. It's a funny use case like motivating, uh, but you know, uh, you can think of it as a as a therapy, but uh, you can build it for your businesses, right? Uh, an agent who can take your calls and you are not paying retail or WAPI or blend, SynthFlow, anything, right? Uh, and Google Gemini will be your only expense basically you will provide your gemini api key and they will charge you for the tokens you use and that that is quite cheap very cheap than the uh, open ai real time api right so yes that was it and obviously i will tell you how you can set up now and before that if you are working on any custom project you can reach out to uh you can reach out through email or the whatsapp and we can build things together okay so now let's see an overall idea how you can do it for yourself if you if you can just you know do some r d on the twilio live kit agents google uh, real time open ai real time you can definitely build this on your own right okay now i will start so first thing is this agent let me just close this this agent is a live kit agent right and uh, what we are doing is agent 
equal multi model dot multi model agent this is a class which uh, uh, live kit providers it is in their documentation and the model is google beta real time uh, real time because the model itself is in beta so they have uh, you know send it as but i got the uh, some email about gemini 2.0 that it is now production ready don't know why live kit isn't updating but it will be updated very soon right now the model we are using is 2.0 flash voice is puck you can change right there is a playground also for the gemini uh which you can use right to to get the voice and temperature is whatever you want to set instructions it can be your major uh player right which will shape your agent so be expressive right whatever you want to say here just say it right it will it should act uh, accordingly function is the function calling whatever function i will create i can ask uh, my agent to book a meeting i can ask my agent to check the weather i can ask my agent to uh, place order on my behalf as a customer right and it will do that uh, chat context is the chat context coming from the uh, previous uh, information or like the whatever i'm talking it is being recorded and then chat context so agent dot start is we are starting the agent and generate replies that agent start talking first and then you uh, basically talk to it okay so that was the live kit part now main thing come you will you will build it very easily right the live kit agents and you will talk to them through their live kit playground all of that will be will be easy but the main thing come is the usability you have to use it for your business right you don't want to play it around in their playground right for that there are two things one is you have to set up the inbound trunk and the second is the dispatch role for both of these what we have to do is set up a trunk and this trunk is basically sip trunk let me just take you through so the twilio and i will so go to twilio i'm already on this page so i'm just searching it again so that you can know where to go and i will just for search for sip trunk By the way, who don't know Twilio, just do R and D on it. But it is a service which will uh, basically provide you phone numbers, and you can connect to your live kit agents or any agents like retail agents, like Wapi agents, like Synflow Blend also, right? Okay, so now here is our thing which we want to search for elastic sip trump so when i click on that i am already on this page but you will be there right now you have to create new sip trunk but i have already created only one thing will be critical and that will be organization sip uri this you will get it from live kit you will uh, just you get uh, just the same way you get your api keys from the live kit this will be also one uh parameter which will be there so you just go to your settings and copy that and paste it here right so i will just delete that project so you know <laughs> uh, this will not be up after this video so yes the name is joe or whatever you want to name it and uh this is my sip trunk which then i can configure to my phone numbers and if you see my active phone numbers now this was the phone number i was talking to right and the sip trunk here is joe you have to now connect the pieces so this is the number and if you see here which we called from our go high level this was the number 9867863384 so 9867863384 here i have configured the sip trunk which is joe i have created 
in the SIP trunk, I have used live kit uh, SIP URI, right? Which uh, live kit provided me. Now in the code, I am doing the connection between these with the inbound trunk with the name is Joe and the dispatch role with the agent name is this and the same agent name I will use with my live kit agent and I will run right and the name is this so that's how all of it is connected and you can basically set the inbound or outbound agents using your personal phone number or your business phone numbers and get your business uh, live for 24 7 right okay so i hope you like the video and this will help you in setting up your automations or businesses and i'll meet you in the next video thanks for watching